Hey guys, it's Monster, and I am an admin on the server with my fellow admin, Nuke1013. Yeah. Hey. He's my bro. Um, we're both admins on the server, team.swamp.com, and if you're watching this, you're probably on the same server. Uh, this we're reviewing a plugin called Fast Soup Wars, and it it relate it's called Soup PvP when it's enabled and. Um, you basically what you do is whenever you have mushroom stew has like no use really honestly besides food there's so many better food options so they decided to put it into something that would change pvp and so we have that plugin on the server and it makes it kind of like more fun more realistic pvp and more hardcore honestly uh it takes it blows potions and god apples away and it just makes it's just something easy to get and something really fun to pvp with uh so the way it works is if you hit me a couple times ready See, so that's it. See, so if I drink soup, it'll heal me. And then, um, so if I drink soup, it'll heal me. And then if I have full hearts, if I drink it again, it'll heal my hunger. Um, and it instantly does this as soon as you right click it, or close to instantly. There's a thing called soup lag, which I'll get to, or you might see it off right. Um, and there's a stop. <laughs> there's a few, and, the, and, and there's a, oh my god. And there's a few things that, you should know about two PvP is what is which is what I'm gonna go over in our fight in frames. I'm gonna um show you guys like in in frames kind of uh, we're gonna like start and stop the fight in frames kind of on what you need to be able to do and or what is good to do and what is nice to master in two PvP because unfortunately on the server I've been PvPing on my ult and there's not a lot of good people. I found that I played two PvP for a few years now, and I found that um, people on the server are a little don't half of them don't even know that you can use suit. Uh, so here's just a little tutorial video, and yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna get to is suit PvP itself, like how to use it in combat, like what should I do, when should I use it, etc. So if me, if me and Bray start fighting, start hitting me, ready. See, so he's he's gonna like start strafing me. I can't get out. Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Oh, oh, okay, I'm, just hit, I'm hitting him. But oh my god, what? Where is he? Oh, 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 I'm just kind of acting here. Whenever I get down to about half health, I'll just quickly drink my soup, drop it, and then... yeah. Anyways, sorry, I don't usually do that. Uh, it's just kind of weird not fighting back for me. But anyways, all right, here, let's just kind of legit fight, and I'll show you kind of how to do it. Can we so, not fight on the ice? Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's come over here. So, uh, so we'll come over here, and if we start, well, uh, what I always like to do is uh, I come in different ways. Kind of, it's called strafing. Let's go, come on, go. It's called strafing, and uh, it's just something to get around the players' that hits like this. You're constantly countering them. Um, and then uh, there's something called combos, which is where you get in close and you chain from right click to left click really quickly. And then see how I'm getting down to half health? I quickly drop my bowl. Uh, it's something called quick drop. And it's actually really hard to figure out. And it's called hawking when you're quickly switching to your soup and back. Um, stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> it's uh, called hawking where you switch. So you switch to another slot. And then uh, what I do is, okay, so I my hands are on W, A, S, D, and shift, um, and what I like to do is I have, I have it on my sword, and then whenever I go to hockey, I, um, I'll move my finger between my pinky and my middle finger to the slot of where the soup is, and then move my p pinky down to Q, and then to, uh, press Q and right click at the same time, and then go back to my sword, and that makes it so what you can do is if you have more soup in your inventory and I, I just do it naturally even if I don't have more soup just for practice and I'm pretty good at it um, is it makes it so if you have more soup in your inventory while you're hawking to your soup to heal yourself during combat um, you can actually if whenever you need to whenever you get run out of soup on your hotbar whenever you get to like seven eight or nine because I honestly it's hard for me to reach those keys um, you can quickly open up your inventory and get more soup in there just like shift click it back into your hotbar and there you go um, now that's quick dropping and hawking. Uh, now the PvP basics. You can do this on any server. Uh, go ahead and heal yourself. Uh, you I can, have full health. Mm, uh, yeah, I just gave it to you. <laughs> you can do this on any server, really. It doesn't take suit, but it's a good counter thing. Um, as I was talking about combo and strafe, uh, what that is is where 
see let's go ahead and fight real quick so I'll come in I'll come in I'll, I'll come in I'll try to get around the sword I'll try to get around the sword um, get, I'll, <laughs> yeah I'll try to get around a sword and whenever whenever he okay so this is when you know how to hit block which is hit oh my god him again seriously <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop the recording this guy's been stalking us um, leave please Is that Bub? Yeah. <laughs> How did he find us? Anyways, okay. Um, sorry, I'm not doing my best because I'm getting a little bit less FPS right now because I'm recording and Skype and I'm like, oh. Yeah, but I also had the lower ground. <laughs> yeah. Um. All, oh, there's another thing. Also, if you're on lower ground, you actually, it's it's Minecraft proven, like if you come at me, Minecraft proven, you're able to get more hits without them hitting you. You're able to get twice as many hits until they get down to your ground, so that's always good. Also, uh, come on, come here, stop, come here. Also, um, if you're over here, and let's just quickly um, make this go down here, break this a little bit. Also, in water PvP, uh, screw that. Um, so, if in water PvP, if you're below the other person, like, get in here real quick. And you're standing there. If you're below the other person, it's harder for them to hit you. Um, <coughs> oh, you have to be a little bit deeper, of course, but, like, you always want to go below and come up on the other person instead of them being there. And then, okay, so combo. Let's go back to combo. Strafing is it kill yourself. Jeez. You're not looking at your health, bro. Yeah, what he just did, strafing, is like going around their sword to try to avoid their attacks, yet still hit them. And sometimes, people break your strafe, and it's, uh, it, stop, Jesus. <laughs> and it's, um, and it breaks your strafe, and it makes it so you're getting attacked, and you're on the, um, defensive. And the way to do that is, this is no, to know when to combo, which is, um, which is the alternating between uh, block hitting and regular hitting uh, here's a few things about that block hitting doesn't have in, doesn't have as much distance um, I'm not sure why don't ask me I'm no Minecraft scientist but I, I can tell you it does not and then regular hitting um, will make it so you can keep up at a good pace um, because as block hitting makes you go pretty slow it'll make it so you can keep up at a good pace and it'll make it so um, you can hit at a longer distance uh, which is really useful because it just is, um, especially when straight and you want to be able to be, you want to be readily hitting as your shape is good. So the way, um, the way you would go is you would start strafing, start strafing, start strafing. I'm gonna wait till he breaks my strafe. I don't know if he will. Okay, he broke my strafe. So then I'd start blocking because he can hit me at the same time until I can go back into my strafe. Then I come back up and try to get back into my strafe, break his strafe, and then come back. And then, like, as as that, I block it. It's just the alternating and knowing when to alternate. Stop. It's alternating, knowing when to alternate. Um, yeah. One sec. Um, alternating and knowing when to alternate between that. Um, and strafing, which I keep talking about, is just, as I said before, like, trying to counter and trying to maneuver around and into the back of the person so they can't hit you. So like, uh, I'm not gonna hit you, but uh, stand still and try to hit me. Stand still and try to hit me. So, uh, so uh, I sc I kind of screwed up there. Instead of going back around and keep keep going, you can you can like spin in a circle, but okay, come on, stand still and try to hit me. You can spin in a circle, but like, it see it's harder to for them to actually hit the player. Um, and if you can do it while they're moving, which is really good, yeah, which is take it take. See, this all takes quite a bit of practice, but after you get it down, it's pretty easy. So, that's two PvP. Um, I will be coming with the next tutorial at slash warp info on team.swamp.com. IP will be in the description. The warp will be in the description next. See ya. We should have